Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and as you can see, I am again working on this panel from Corinne's Tablecloth. This is going to make my November panel on my Just Because quilt, and at the moment, I'm just doing a fly stitch with this lovely organza sage coloured thread well it's not really a thread is it it's more of a ribbon um because i quite like the way i can see corinne's original lines through it so i've done all of these leaves in this <coughs> excuse me and then i think what i'm going to do here is i'm going to come across these lines so I'm going to lay it flat and come back through so how are you how are you getting on with your quilts or your sewing crafts in general I want to get this finished so I can work on that flower that's my plan I want to work on that flower with you today and we'll see how time marches along. I could obviously have used an opaque ribbon for this. I just, I quite like seeing the lines underneath. So that's where I'm going with it. So, sorry, you can hear the washer in the background probably. Okay. And then I think I'm going to come down the side. Which is what I did with the leaves. So in there, out there, to get a back stitch going. Back in there, down there. So yeah, um, I'm enjoying this. It. I knew when I started it, there was going to be a lot of work in this panel which is what I said to you a while ago about working ahead of time because I knew there was a lot of work um, going over to the other side now to come back up Oh yeah, um, sorry, I'm just sitting here stitching. <laughs> I should be chatting to you guys, shouldn't I? Um, all my artifarty any swaps are done and in their envelopes, waiting to go out. So that's another little job jobbed, um, which is great. Um, what else? Not a lot really, there's a new um, video isn't there from Roxy's Creations, the Journal of Stittery, yeah like that, like that a lot. So um, <coughs> can come back and look at that, on, that'll be on Sunday's video, I think um, I know what I'm going to do, because it's Mossy Forest isn't it? So, um, to me, Mossy Forest is mushrooms, really, you know, um, in the undergrowth. So, yeah, that's basically my plan for that. I think I'm going to do this leaf now. I know I'm dying all over the place. That's how my brain, oh, that's how my brain works. 
I do apologise. <laughs> but then if you didn't like crazy, you wouldn't really tune in, would you? <laughs> Did I do a knot in that or not? Let's get a big one round my finger. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it really with the stitching. Um, I'm still doing the paper stitchery mini series on my Kofi page. If you haven't found that yet and you think you might like to see it, you could pop over there, have a look at that. I notice there's a lot of people complaining at the moment, well perhaps complaining is the wrong word, mentioning at the moment about how you know their channels are not getting the views that they used to get and shouting out for you know likes and comments um yeah i've got to be honest and say i don't think my channel has changed i think i'm getting the same level of views that i've always had um obviously we would always like to see more that's what helps you know the channel grow but I don't think it's changed so I find that interesting um, there's a number of people mentioning they've noticed a change have you noticed that I mean even if you're not somebody who makes videos and puts out content have you noticed that perhaps the people that you used to watch are not showing up as much as they used to? I don't know. Okay, so down the rest of this stalk and then we can uh, look at that flower that I want to do in that embossed white old tablecloth. So we'll have a look at that. That just ends at that holly leaf because presumably the holly's in front of it. <coughs> I think it's a very fickle thing, isn't it? YouTube, you know, I mean. Apparently, um, <clears throat> they change the algorithm all the time, and that, of course, has an effect on what's seen and how it's seen. And I don't, uh, if I'm honest, I don't understand it. I just come on, share my videos with you guys, and hope that you like what you find. It's about it, really, <laughs> nothing more technical than that okay now I did wonder if I could actually do like a big sort of chain stitch here that would work like a lazy daisy that would work no I don't like that so I'm gonna pull that where is it that bit there Bit that bit? Yeah. Pull that back through to the other side. Right, I'm going to stop you because the noise of the washer. Okay, so while you were gone, how dare you be absent from class, <laughs> I used this piece of old pattern paper to just lay on because I knew I'd be able to see through it and draw through the two large white flowers. So now... <coughs> I've got this piece of tablecloth that's got this embossing on and that's what I fancied using for these flowers. So, if we start here, um, how are you going to deal with this Claire? What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this I'm going to trim it to size, but then I'm going to cut 
cut my fabric bigger, I think. And I think I'm going to do it as one piece. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do it as one piece. And then I'm going to stitch the detail on top. I think that's what my plan is. So. <clears throat> I want to put this. See, when you put it there like that, it's actually quite small, isn't it? See, I've got the fan on because it's blowing around. So. Oops, where am I? If we can do it without it moving. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm going to do this one exactly the same. Probably better to do it with slightly bigger scissors, Claire. And of course, this paper is very fragile. Anybody that's ever made clothes knows how delicate this paper is. The last thing you want to do is rip it. Which is very easy to do. Okay. this piece out very very delicate Now I'm sure that many would do a needle turn on this piece. I don't think I'm going to do that. I, um, as you know, I quite like a rough edge. So, now, can I fit all of that on there? Yes. There we go. So, I'm just going to quickly work around this. I did try putting it on the light box, but the fabric was just too thick. It wasn't having it. So that's why we had to trace instead. Obviously, if you're more of an artist than I am, you could have drawn it. But that wasn't happening for me, definitely not. <coughs> okay, there we go. So there's those two pieces. Don't blow away because I'm going to need you. Okay, go in first of all with the big ones, just to chop out the piece, and now I'm gonna give myself just a bit of space. I suppose, strictly speaking, by doing this, I could have needle turned it.
There's that one. And then where's the other one? There. So let's chop it out. Oh, I know what I could tell you. Um, one of the things I was struggling with, you remember last week I talked about how that purple was jarring, so we did those little flowers in the panel in purple. Well, when I was looking at it after, like the panel, after I took the camera off, I realised that I didn't really have a lot of green in my stash because green's not a colour that I generally go for to be honest so um, I sent a message pinged a message over to the lovely Jill at Betty and Ivy and asked her if by any chance she could put together a green bundle for me what a wonderful lady. She came back to me almost instantly and said, yep, that wasn't a problem. She'd have a look, hunt out what she had. She then sent me a picture of what she'd collated, told me how much it would be, and was very determined to point out that there was absolutely no pressure to buy. If I didn't like any of it or whatever, she could definitely put it into, you know, different bundles. But no, she'd picked out wonderful mix. So I said thank you very much. And it's already with me. So if you are in the UK, because I'm not sure if she sends abroad. She might do, you'd have to ask her. Um, and you're looking for the recycled fabrics then Jill is definitely your lady right now shall we be really brave and try and turn that or shall we just stitch it do you know what I've got white cotton here and I'm sure if I look I've got a small hold needle Let's have a look and see what happens. It's not the sort of thing I would normally want to do on camera, to be honest, because you want your work, well I do, quite close to your face when you're doing this. But do you know what? I'm all for showing myself up. So let's have a look and see what happens. So get a knot in here, first of all, let's make sure, is it where we want it to be? You see now I feel like I've cut it too small. To needle turn it, this is the problem. Have a little look. Yeah, it's going to be too small, isn't it? I'm going to have to cut it very much bigger. So, if we're going to, if you're determined to do this, Claire, we we'll have to cut a bigger one. So, let's stick a pin in that. Let's cut a much bigger one. Right. And this is where we're back to determination. 
maybe just ignorance <laughs> wins the day right I know it was a bad idea to do this on camera let's try can always unpick it Claire it's only fabric so I'll start there with a huge great long thread as I always do and just going to do a little tiny stitch there like that which will pull that piece under okay going to be quite um, laborious to watch I would have thought but when I say things like that people say oh no you like to just watch the basic stitching so here goes I suppose the answer is if you don't want to watch it you could move along to the end In just in the middle to hold it basically where I want it and then I can just keep turning this edge under <coughs> And there's not going to be much talking going on, I can assure you, while I'm doing this. Shall I move in a little bit? There we go. Um, because semi concentration. So I suppose this is where there should really be some music. There. But also, of course, what's happening here is we can get. Um, oh, I've just had a thought. I was going to say we're going to get a bit of puffiness because of all the fabric that I'm tucking underneath. Now, there's a thought. What if I stuffed some wadding in there? Make it three dimensional, wouldn't it? How fun would that be? Oh, okay. So, follow this round. Not that far away, you see, it's gone too far. There you go. Okay. 
you know, I'm gonna pull that through the back, like so, and then I'm gonna shoot over to this side here. Back to where I started because now that I've decided that I want to stuff it, see, see, I told you this thing just evolves like there is no tomorrow. sure that we're going to end up with the shape that Corinne started with <laughs> but does it matter oh, I don't think so now I know I can see a little bit of the black line there I can easily bring up more of the stalk so that's fine isn't it It's come a bit lower there, I can see that line. But hopefully, when I stuff it, it won't be so obvious. Right, where was I? Sorry, got paranoid because I could see that bit of black line. Corinne's line. We obviously needed it there to know where we were going, but I don't want to see it. I wanted to see it there with those leaves, but not here. jump up behind me I've got a bag that's got some odds and ends of wadding in <clears throat> and I'm just gonna um, grab some out and we do a little tiny bit of stuffing and get this three dimensional I think it's gonna be such fun I told you this panel was going to be like a bit of a sampler. Right. Oh, wrong end of the needle. I'm getting too excited about this whole stuffing idea to make it three dimensional, aren't I? Okay, so we've got this flower, like that, and one bag, we've got this bag, 
the door bits of wadding in little tiny bits of wadding so if I pull this apart and make some like stuffing such fun see I hope you didn't go racing ahead because you'll be missing the fun part too fat but I want, I want it to show that it's there if you know what I mean yeah that's gonna be fun 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 happy 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 just ignore me right I think we need to stitch round a little bit further and then we can see about where the stuffing is enough if you know what I mean right oh now that's interesting because now where I've made the flower so big I've made it mould too big, which is interesting because the flower that Corinne drew, look, finishes there. Can you see? It actually finishes there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably regret this don't do it Claire you know you're going to regret it right let's get that well and truly stitched there so that it's not go under right a little bit fiddly but do you know what I think it's worth it and of course needle turning can be fiddly anyway but doing it with the stuffing inside is just a bit crazy there really but hey -o. Right, so I can see that line properly now. Don't worry, I am not going to um, make you suffer the other flower. I think this one is sufferance enough, don't you? Right, I need coffee. I definitely need coffee. Uh -huh. going past the black line as you may or may not be able to see and then trying to sort of stretch the fabric back to where I want it that's not bad and then there like that I'm going to try and just yeah pull that over a little bit and yes as always this is a bit half arse but we're going to get what we want in the end and that is what matters
There we go. That's that one. Now that one is going there. So I put one there. Okay. In there, down there. Oh yeah, love it. So, sorry, I'm turning it backwards and forwards, trying to work out. No, I definitely need it this way. And trust me, when I'm with you, I am actually going to chop that top bit off because we've just got. Too much fabric. There we go. Um, when I'm with you, I'm on my best behaviour. Can you imagine what I'm like when I'm here on my own? I know there's a black line there. I'm going to try and deal with that in a minute. appreciate that at the moment this flower doesn't look much like a flower but that's because I believe I might be wrong it hasn't got any real detail on it so I once I get my embroidery floss up and we start putting in those petals I'm hoping it's going to be okay so I'm just putting a little bit more stuffing in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tiny bit more I think Where's my needle? Yeah. So, oh, it's actually quite heavy you now. It's stuffed out like that. It's quite, quite amazing. So now we need to turn it under and get that stuffing in all at the same time. Yeah, that's it's working. Okay, stop here. Two. 
turn, turn, scuff, right, come on Claire, you can do this. This is the last little bit. Ooh. So you go. <coughs> Excuse hubby having a sneeze. Are you still breathing, dear? Yeah, it's okay. Quite violent sneeze, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so we've got our flower. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now, come to the back and tie off my stitching. I don't know if this is good, bad, or indifferent, but anyway, we'll tie off our stitching like that. And if you're still here, well done. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this white embroidery thread. I'm going to look at my little piece that was the original pattern. And I'm going to try, 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 try to... Do that. Pattern that Corinne has done for us here. Oh, look, got a big hole there. Oh, I've got a knot. No, 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 don't do that to me. Come on, it was all going so well. There we go. Right. So I'm going, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's where I'm going. To there. And that's going to be, as it were, that one petal okay and then it goes to this big hole here so that big hole was for a reason wasn't it so now actually do you know what what if i draw a line that would make sense wouldn't it i can always iron it out that one is going there and then we've got that one there. Okay. It goes like that. 
we got that one, got that one, and then we got that one. Okay, let's try that. So now I'm going to follow this black line and stitch in. three-dimensional flower now do you know when I turned the camera on I had absolutely no intention of this being a three-dimensional flower and this is what I keep saying to you I know I'm repeating myself and it's almost boring but this is how this thing is just evolving it's absolutely amazing okay and give that a bit of a tug and then I'm going to come back down to that point there <coughs> move my oops no 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 Claire don't do that my way across here and I'm just obviously doing a really straightforward boring back stitch. And now, whoops, what am I pulling? Oh, I've put the needle through the green. See, that's what happens, Claire, when you don't tie your ends off properly, isn't it? Never mind. Hey-ho. I'm too excited with this stuffed flower to worry about that at the moment. quite pleased with that no that's a long one. I'm very pleased with that now as I say I'm not gonna bore you by doing the other flower because I'm sure we've been here forever already that's beautiful and for my homework I will stitch all the way around the edge I'll iron out the black line and I'll do this one so when you come back next time they'll be completely done i hope you found some joy and inspiration if nothing else you should please take from today's video that going down a route you never intended can often be a really good idea stay safe i'll see you very soon to for now